بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين now my dear friends and students and those who are appearing in the examination of fellowship or membership and or abroad now this is the another subject because i am doing infection and the disease previously all are connected now her sexual health but this subject was the most neglected subject in the medicine and that is why the crops of the quacks arrived arised and born because of your neglection you don't know the how to handle the sexual problems of a person and that is the reason that these type of the different way of the treatment different ways of management they are, which are injurious may be injurious to the health they are right in the market and you are actually pushed to the back most in the retro positions when i am taking sexual health as a infection and a disease first of all and then and uh, you know if, if i if i be be able I'm, and and uh, i will alive and then i will deliver different session on this to understand when the patient comes to you with some sexual problem then you will how to you know evaluate this patient and manage this patient now these persons are called sexologist sexologist etc nobody in the field of the medicine is labeled by fda or cdc as sexologist except few matters which are related with the surgery that is urological problems urologists declare themselves uh, experts on this subject again the endocrinologist also supporting their field and in the same case the people belonging to the department of psychiatry and the psych psych clinical psychologists they say that this these are uh, the sex health or the different uh, problems arising with the sex is related matter to them i don't understand that thing because as a sexologist no everybody is claiming they are uh, they are expert in this uh, but nobody is actually masterpiece in anything this is absolutely wrong but if you know the physiology and the afterwards physiology and then go for the pathology general pathology and special pathology related with the organs you know genital organ organs then you are the master this knowledge that's how i apply it into, 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 into the internal medicine now you become uh, you know one of the most important person uh, for this uh, these problems for the sexual health are concerned i am professor sayed ali hazar and it is the you know that sexually this is sexually transmitted diseases infection mm. uh, notice that this is written as sex sexually and it is related with the sex directly they have written like this sexually transmitted diseases or infection sti or stds i am uh, actually giving these lectures to basically to all of, all of my students all my friends who can watch this video then what is the sti the definition by the cdc that is sti stands for the sexually transmitted infection it should be related with the sex in one way or the other way 
And sometimes an STI is referred to as STD also, as a sexually transmitted disease. A sexually transmitted disease, that is. STI is a specific word you are using, meaning the infection is a problem. Sexually transmitted diseases are a big chapter. Only infections are there, but more than that is po possibility. So an STI is a disease that is passed from one person to another person through sexual activity. Only one way of the transmission is the sex. Whether it is done in the normal route or abnormal route, whatever it is. It is related with the sex. And some STIs can be transmitted through the non-sexual means as well. It means that the sexually transmitted diseases, it means STD can be transmitted through, through non-sexual means as well. Because STI is a specific word, infection. It is, it is not infection, it is not uh, you know, infectious, it is not uh, STI. It is an STD. This means there are other means of uh, creating a pathology in a person. It is not directly affected by uh, some uh, microbiology, microbiological agent. But other forces are there. Now common infections are Shimaria, one of the most important ones in the world is genital herpes, Gonaria, ranked third, HIV, human papillary virus, pubic lice, syphilis, I have done, you know, three or four sessions or more than that, and trichomoniasis. Trichomoniasis is in a specific condition, is included. So it means that every type uh, is included. That is, it is caused by either uh, some microorganism involved, whether it is a gram positive bacteria, gram negative bacteria, or some spirochetal infections, some are the fungal infections, some are the parasitic infections, some are viruses, some are less than the virus, you don't know about the other particles, well, prawns and uh, viroids, it's possible. They are still not demonstrated there, but it is possibly in the future they can demonstrate it. Because it, it, you cannot prove the infection in the body or in the, or, or the target organ, then how you will say that it is infection? That is the problem. The so STI means that you have do documented infection by these agents which I have told you. I have told you the classification per microbiology, as per microbiology is concerned. It can be caused by the bacteria, viruses, parasite, you know, fungi. What, why is this important? Why secular transmission is important? A variety of symptoms and uh, discomfort can occur to the, and leading to the permanent bodily damage to the death, for example, the HIV and syphilis and sub, some cases of the gonorrhea as well. On the other hand, AIDS and STI is the leading cause of the death worldwide among those aged between 50 to 59. Now this problem is uh, HIV, that AIDS is concerned, is very important, my dear friends, who are appearing in any examination because they can ask anything about this disease. It is the differential diagnosis of every disease, whatsoever. It should be excluded in the diagnosis according to the Harrison, in their country. Not our country, but in their country, they should be excluded because atypical cases occur in the AIDS and they, they are, the cases will lead to a problem in the society. The STIs can be passed from a pregnant mother to a child, a vertical transmission. In most of them, there is possibility. Bacterial sexually transmitted infections or, for example, a group is, is very important in our day, the Shilmarias. The Shilmaria trichomatis is the singular form of the bacteria, whether it is a DNA or a RNA, it, it contains only one. So it is a Shilmaria trichomatis that is the leading cause nowadays, presently. So it is a Shilmaria. Remember, this is a Shilmaria I have, I have discussed uh, in my previous lecture, the Shilmarias. 
every organism I took and delivered the lecture. Not a single microorganism is left in my series. Although boring, it is dry, but you have to go through. You should understand the infection, the disease. Shilmaria is the leading cause of the STI. Not gonorrhea, not AIDS. Now, the symptoms, you know, in SS concern about the Shilmaria is the genital discharge and painful urination. So it is one of the causes of the urinary infection also. That is why in female, it is very difficult to treat the UTI, which is the next topic of mine, with the UTI in the series. And it's very, very difficult to treat the, the person and woman is concerned. Male can be treated, but the female, uh, you can say, eradicated. You, know, you have eradicated the infection. This is treatment is wrong because, again, there will be relapse of the disease and again there is the same cycle will repeat. WBC are coming in, in the uh, urine, pus cells, that is, along with the nitrate, positive or negative, whatever it is. It is definitely is, is going on. And uh, fever with the, uh, you know, chills. So these are the symptoms are the same as the other STI. No specific one. Can be cured with antibiotics. Yes, it can be cured, but very, very important is to understand how to manage these cases. Otherwise, it will lead to the urinary tract infection in female. I already said that. Shilmaria can lead to the pelvic PID. It can cause infertility in the women. That is another problem which is grown, growing problem in the society is that this is the problem, the infertility in the women. Now, 3 million cases a year, the most common bacterial STI, 3 million. And this is one of the picture of the Shilmaria taken during a light microscopic examination. Shilmaria trichomatis, fragilitated organism it is, and a mobile one, very motile. And they have detected it is a gram negative organism predominantly. And if you go for the higher microscopy, then it is possibly you can define the morphology of this uh, Shilmaria and you can justify your diagnosis. Otherwise, you, you go for the culture and then go for the sensitivity to prove that it, it is Shilmaria. Another important infection in the, in the past infection is gonorrhea. Now we have seen, I think I have seen uh, 20 to 30 cases in my 45 years of the clinical uh, practice. As a student, as a junior, as a senior, now as the, one of the most senior person at the uh, end of my life. I have seen only about 15 to 20 cases, or 30, what, 25, under 30. It is not very, very common. Shilmaria is common, but it is not common. But if it occurs, then, the, then there will be a big problem. But this is the disease actually caught by the persons who enjoy sex with the call girls, etc. Remember, this is highly, you know, they are not uh, hygienic in the same in this area, I have taken one whole uh, you know, uh, tutorial previously. Go, go to the, uh, the lectures list, and videos in my, you know, subs after subscription of my lecture. And that is, that is the, uh, my YouTube channel. Open it and go for the Nizeria Gunari if you want to see. These lectures are given after my 45, 44, 45 years of the clinical experience. It is not a bookish one. So it is the gonorrhea which can be cured with antibiotics and that is why the Fleming is famous for the disease penicillin. Syphilis, gonorrhea. At one time the peak onset in France and other areas. And more of the cases because they are uh, they, they, were, they were not treated by the specific uh, drugs, then usually patient will die. Because gonorrhea can also end up with the, what is called here, the gonococcal vaginitis, it is cervicitis, it is pelvic infected disease, it can cause the uh, uh, oral sex through 
there is appendicitis that it cause uh, ENT problems. Even it is seen in the internal air that as acute separated or that is media. In the eyes also, the area is very important organism causing the eye problems. There is one of the only STI which is important is the conjunctiva and sclera is concerned. Definitely it can be cured if you manage it on the proper pathway. So, a gonorrhea is a picture of the bacteria that causes gonorrhea taking use in an electron microscope. It's an intercellular parasite in some of the cells who are watchful cells, microphages, etc. They in themselves destroyed by this organism. Remember this disease will cause the macrophages or what is called as the acute inflammatory reaction which has uh, first of all the neutrophil will be killed by th this organism and then the coming uh, lymphocyte and giant cells, lymphocyte derivatives etc etc etc. Another infection was syphilis which I have given a very very you know seven or eight session on syphilis because this disease is a disease of anything, you, it will come you, the person will come you and you, you are blank then, because you have not uh, thoroughly, you know, syphilis proved. I will say that syphilis is not studied by most of the students because they will not be asked in the examination, but if they are asking in the examinations, then you, you will learn the disease. You will learn this disease. You should learn this disease because it is very, very important differential diagnosis. Again, it is a differential diagnosis of anything. Can be cured with the antibiotics, but any damage done to the body cannot be reversed because it will be replaced by the fibrosis. I have taken seven or eight session. Go the, to the video and see that the, how the syphilis is affected in the three stages: the primary and secondary and tertiary, so on. This is a bacteria which causes syphilis using the light microscope. It is, you know, just like a snake snail-like uh, activity is seen and these are some of the pictures which are taken in the primary syphilis and the some of the secondary syphilis and joint gonococcal acidity uh, that is uh, syphilitic uh, reactive arthritis sorry that is becoming the secondary uh, syphilis the skin is involved the, the other areas are involved you know I have already done when I have taken these uh, you know, lesions in my lectures previously. Viral STI has AIDS, HIV. You know, remember this, this organism, HIV, should be learned by the students. Should learn this, should learn. When I was doing my FCPS part 2 examination, I, I took three months to complete it and make the notes. And these notes are, are with me now also, presently. Very, very important thing is that I have repeated many times and so much so that a challenge has been given by a, one of the experts of the AIDS who arrived in Karachi. He said that, give me two answers. After you have learned three months continuously HIV, what you have done, you are doing yourself, damaging yourself. If you are so much, you know, very, very knowledgeable, then answer these questions. First question was asked, I answered it correctly. He said that very, very difficult question was asked in the end. Second question, very you know, difficult, but I answered it as, as, as usual, answer, as a usual, no problem. He said that to my wife, uh, that uh, Lee Heather has done deep penetration into the uh, HIV. Nobody can talk with him, as a clinician is concerned, very difficult, because he has done so much so that really, real question I, I have asked to him and he answered it. And the same way the examination in the FCPS part of examination, when I started the discussion on the HIV in the FCPS part 2 as a differential diagnosis, then if the former examination of the uh, was there, he, he, he became very happy. Because the things which I am 
I was telling uh, to the examiner that he was enjoying because nobody answered previously, previous candidates. So the actually the thing is that this is the differential diagnosis of every disease, whatsoever, presentation. It should be differentially diagnosed in America for every disease. Symptoms do not emerge for the several years, you know, it is incubation period, it is a hidden infection. And afterwards, you know, during this, there is fatigue, rapid weight loss, night sweat, uh, light coating on the tongue, papyrus grows on the skin. You have actually not seen these cases in your practice. Because there are, the, you know, each societies are there, the, uh, there is a uh, centers in the, near the civil hospital, Karachi, and the experts they are dermatologists and they are expert in managing freely the very very costly drugs they, they, they are distributing social workers are there so and other things because they, they, they are uh, watched by the WHO that whether what is the incidence it's a hidden incidence in the Pakistan is there hidden prevalence is there but they, they, they because they have actually taken so much amount from WHO to eradicate the disease that they are ashamed of themselves. Because the papers are written not honestly. The papers, they are written by the researchers honestly. In our country, India, Sri Lanka, etc. It is just like a market. You go and just, you know, hire somebody to write to do, uh, to do the, uh, this research work for you from, from your side and you pay him 50,000, 75,000, 80,000 and he made a very good paper of the prevalence of H HIV in Pakistan. Very, very shameful that it is all false data are collected. If true data will be collected, actually the infection is now, with the, now it is there in Pakistan. You cannot say that it is a AIDS free zone. It's not. It's possible. No. No, no, it is not, not possible. So the AIDS is concerned, um, I said that I, have, I should take the HIV as a serious matter and I'll take about six to seven sessions. I will, I will take it because uh, if somebody is watching or somebody is not watching, but actually there are certain uh, people who are watching. We, you, which are unseen. They are watching, no doubt about it. There are makhlukas in the world, there. what are they? They are, they are farishta, malaika, then jinnat, then insan. Then I'm not a sector. He likes. Now, the thing is this, the, 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 the other manikas, the makhlukas are watching probably. I'm sure about it. I should not be disheartened that about only 10 people have watched it by I mean, a full-blown type of a, you know, uh, tutorial has been given by me. So I will take the AIDS in the end, afterwards, in the, in the virology is concerned. Because we are doing actually as a uh, bacteriology and then we go, go for the other things and then we go for the, uh, the parasitology and uh, we go for the mycology and then we will end up with the virology is concerned and one virus is HIV virus. Again the other virus is the genital herpes caused by the herpes simplex, human herpes simplex virus type 2. Symptoms include the blisters and sores in the genital region that last for one to two weeks. They are very very sore type of a region around the vagina, around, around the penile area. Symptoms can be disappear can disappear for a long period, but the virus never leaves the body. Never leaves the body. It is hidden, hidden afterwards. Just like hepatitis B. The person can be reinfected after many, many years of genital herpes. Although he, according to the gynecologist, they have eradicated this infection. No. It's clearly written that never like, you know, they were using the word never leaves the body. It is in a dominant state, and uh, after the chance that the body is immunosuppressed, they attack it, attack the body. 
एंटीबायोटिक ड्रग्स यस दे आर इफेक्टेड ओनली व्हेन द पर्सन इज अंडर इन द इनक्यूबेशन पीरियड और द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ इन्फेक्शन बट द सेकंड और थर्ड फेज इज अदर देन दैट द रीजन ऑफ पेयर इन फिक्स्ड द दीस ड्रग्स आर दे हैव नो नो रोल ए साइक्लोवेर पेन साइक्लोवेर सेना साइक्लोवेर एसेट्रा सेल जनरेशन सेकंड जनरेशन थर्ड जनरेशन एंड न्यू ड्रग्स हैव अराइव्ड एज एंटीबायोटिक एजेंट्स बट दे आर ओनली इफेक्टेड And, uh, they are only be beneficial when you used before it. Otherwise, it it is not benefit. You are, it is not benefited. It will take the time and go. They say about forty five million Americans with one million new cases a year. It's a very big population. Uh, you know, it is a prevalence in in this uh, in the zone because they are they are using sex. You know, monogamy or uh, diagamy or trigamy or you know. Seven partners, eight partners, just like an animal, and they are infected. These type of they are macapha animal, macapha animal. Very painful condition. Simplex is very very painful, just like the zoster. It is. Now this is a very important point. They remember one slogan that all hepatotrophic viruses can cause STI. This is a slogan. Because in the previous years, which I am doing, uh, you know, graduation after the post graduation one, post graduation two, etc. Then this is a problem actually in the MCQ. They said that they will accept. So accept, you know, questions are now now nowadays they are not asking it. Accept. Which means will you choose one? Best of one choice. And the people actually dodged by this. I say that all hepatotrophic viruses can cause STI, cytomegalovirus, for example, can cause it. STI. Why not? It's a hepatotrophic virus, but the important viruses, which are hepatitis A, B, the most important one, C, yes, it is less important than B, but it's important in our country. Hepatitis D is a co-infection with the B always. And hepatitis E is also causing the problem, and it can spread through the sexual act. So, which viruses are a strong question they are given in the examination? Now, these are the viruses, the long, long list of viruses which are important as hepatotrophic viruses. B. is a very important virus which can be spread through a sexual act again the symptoms you know there are the jaundice is concerned a fever loss of appetite tiredness joint pain etc can cause severe liver liver damage definitely it will cause the chronic liver disease permanent hepatic failure and afterwards leading to the chronic hepatitis and cld and cirrhosis and in the end Up with the more chances of better cellular carcinoma. It is preventable disease by other preventive ma- measures. The most important vaccine is effective against this virus. Or the C vaccine is not available. A is available. B yes. C in under process. They are not because highly mutated virus. But they are they are uh, under process. D is actually associated with the B. If you defend the B, the D, the D infection cannot occur. It's not possible. E, they have they have worked out as a vaccination program is concerned. Some benefits of the vaccination can be can be uh, there with the hepatitis E. Now, hepatitis B, the but ninety percent of adults who are infected with hepatitis will have no symptoms and will be cured automatically. So, self aborted disease ninety percent because hepatitis B. Surface antigen antibody is the most powerful antibody ever, you know, invented or seen or found in the in your body. It is very powerful antibody. It is the very very powerful defensive action of the hepatitis B surface antigen. The only one virus that is hepatitis B that is important. Over ninety percent of it about themselves. Only ten percent are remaining. Whether they go go for the chronic hepatitis or the cirrhosis, cirrhotic line, and liver failure, etc. And on the other hand, they can develop in the end as the 
carcinoma of the liver. You see this. It is a chronic which are cirrhotic and afterwards the you know this is the problem. Although C is not common as B, but can be transmitted, I will say transmitted, yes, through sexual activity, yes. It is a hepatotropic virus. Hepatotropic virus, all viruses can be transmitted through sex. And having a sexually transmitted infection, having sex with multiple partners and engaging in the anal sex, sodomy, appear to increase the person's risk for hepatitis C. More chances. If a Makafa is MLA, you are legalized in sodomy, that is also a person who has a person who has a person. اور یہاں پہ یہ ہم آپ کو بچا رہے ہیں اس سے قرآن بچا رہا ہے اللہ کی کتاب بچا رہی ہے نہیں من کریں گے تو مقافات عمل ہوگا دنیا میں اس حضر ملے گی پھر آخرہ میں تو ملنی ملنی ہے نا بڑی خطرناک قسم کی جو ہے نا وعیدیں ہیں ان لوگوں پر جو اس قسم کا کام کرتے ہیں اس میں جو ہے نا ایک پکچر میں انہوں نے سب کچھ انہوں نے بند کر دیا کہ پٹیگی بلیٹی ہے جانڈیز ہے نوزیہ وہ بچیں گے لیک آف اپیٹائٹ ہے بلیڈنگ اور برسنگ ہے یہ میں اصل میں سٹوڈنٹ کے لیے بتا رہا ہوں یہ کومن ہے دونوں میں چاہے آپ اس میں لیں ایکیوٹ میں یا کرونک میں لیں کرونک میں سٹین ہوتا ہے پروگریشن اس کا ایکیوٹ میں بری بری یہ نہیں پروگریسیو ہوتا ہے فور فیو ڈیز اس میں بہت تندر اپیٹر میں گلی ہوتی ہے بڑی زبردست کومنکیشن اس کی میں پہلے بتا چکا تھا یعنی بات ہے سروٹک تو یہ ہوتا ہوتا ہے یہ سارے بتا چکا ہوں اس میں امپورٹنٹ چیز یہ ہے کہ this is the skin complication associatedly the poly apophoria cutania tardia associated with the and lichen planus the two skin complications are associated with hepatitis C and cryoglobinemia is a syndromic type of a disease globins which are cold antibody and they cause the full blown picture of the cryoglobinemia and I have diagnosed about four or five cases associated with hepatitis C the cryoglobinemia now, human papilloma virus, yes, it's again an important one. Why it is important? Because it will it definitely is not a painful disease, rather. But it will cause the, it is a precancerous condition. A warty excrescences occurs, genital warts. It can be on the lips also, it can around the eyes also. Because, because the sight of the sex, are, you know, the, in the excitement, the parts they are they are involved and the viruses gain their entry and causing these warts to appear what the excrescences are there it can be treated because it is localized phenomena you can apply local drug to freeze it or corti it or you go for the laser whatever methodology you are applying in, in the rural areas, they are using the hair of uh, a horse and they, at the root, they tightly bind this, very, very tightly. After two, two three days, it will become ischemic and it will definitely throw thrown from the body. And again, Rikar, again, they are, they are doing the same thing. Because, uh, they are uh, relapses and remissions of the human papilloma virus, you have to, it should be treated on the lines, which are uh, definitely uh, the localized type of a, uh, you know, the antiviral therapy is not effective. Localized therapy may be affected. So it is a plastic surgeon, they are dermatologists, cosmetic dermatologists, or whatever they are. They should stop this infection there and there. The parasitic type of STI, the pubic lice, ہیڈ لائز ہے تو ٹھیک ہے جو سمجھ میں آتے ہیں جوئے ہیں وہ تو تو جنائٹر ایریا میں ہوتا ہے یہ اس ایریا اور ویزیبل لائز اور ایکس آر دیا کن بی کیوڑ ویڈی انسیکٹی سائن میرا سوال یہ ہے کہ میں نے تو نہیں دیکھا اس طرح وہ ہے یہ میرے کسی سٹوڈنٹ نے نہیں دیکھا جو لوگ جو پروفیسر بھی ہو گئے ہیں یہ نہیں دیکھا میں نے اب فیمیل کی سائٹ پہ آ جائیں تو جانا کالیج سے پوچھا کہ یہ آپ نے دیکھا ہے اس کو انہوں نے بہت کم نے کہا انہوں نے اصل میں بات یہ ہے کہ وہ فوکس رکھنی ہے اس ایریا پہ جو ان کے کام کا ہے اچھا آپ کا کیا ہے کہ آپ کسی پرینل ایریا کو اگزامن کرتے ہی نہیں ہیں وہ اجازت لو اگر وہ کہہ ہے تو کرو نہیں ہے تو نہیں کرو بغیرہ بغیرہ یہی ہے نا یہ ہمیں تعلیم دیا تھی تو پرینل اگزامنیشن نگلیٹ ہو جاتا ہے 
और पर रेक्टल एग्जामिनेशन उसके बगैर एबडामल एग्जामिनेशन कंप्लीट होते ही नहीं कभी वो भी उससे छुड़ा लेते हैं कि ठीक है जी उसने मरीज कहते नहीं तो वो कंसेंटेड नहीं है तो फिर वो तो डायग्नोसिस भी नहीं बना सकते आप वो कह रहे हैं यहाँ जाने निकले में मैं तो मैं दिखाऊंगा नहीं तो आप कैसे बताएंगे पीबिक लाइफ से यू हैव टू डेमोस्ट्रेट इट बिकॉज इट इज विजिबल है आपको नेकेड आई में आपको नजर आ रहा होगा जैसे जुए नजर आती है बिल्कुल वैसी ही होती है तो ये जो है ना ये जो चीज़ आपको नजर आ रही होगी यहाँ टहल रही है यहाँ टहल रही है यहाँ एग्स भी नजर आएंगे वैसे ना इसके बाद जो डायग्नोसिस की इसके अंदर जो है ना वो लोकलाइज जो एंटीसेप्टिक्स हैं पैरामेथ्रीन वगैरह जेयर इफेक्टिव इसके भी बिग टॉपिक है ये देखिए वैसे ना इसमें जो है ना ये हमारे मुल्क का एक डायलेमा है कि ये रिटिकेट करने में नाकाम हो गए लोग और ये जो है ना इस पर भी पूरा लेक्चर लेना चाहिए कि मैंने देखें कि इससे बहुत ज़्यादा मैं अगर डॉमाटोलॉजिस्ट हो नहीं लेकिन मैंने कोशिश की है इरीटिकेट करने की उन्होंने क्या किया वो ट्रीट करने की कोशिश की अब दोनों में फ़र्क है अब साकोटिस के भी आई ये माइट जो होता है साकोटिस के बाईल होता है वेरी वेरी स्मॉल यू कैन नॉट सी बाई लाइक एंड आई वेरी डिफिकल्ट लेकिन वो क्या करता है कि बरोज बना देते हैं ना उस एरिया पे जहाँ पे वो इन्फेक्ट करता है आपको गोल दायरा उसके जो किनारे हैं वहाँ पे ये बैठा होता है और वहाँ पे रात को जिसकी फीमेल अंडे देती है एक्स फिर नया सिलसिला वो रात को जो है नॉक जो वजर इचिंग होती है नॉक्टरनल उनकी स्पेसिफिक स्पेसिस हैं इस पर जो मैंने कहा था आपसे इसको रेडिकेट करना चाहिए इसको ट्रीट नहीं करना चाहिए क्योर विद इंसेक्टिसाइड क्योर यूज प्रॉपरली किसी के नाम लिखा क्योर क्योर के साथ भी बहुत सारे जुम्म चल रहे हैं आपने तो लोकल अप्लाई करके निकालने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं लेकिन भाई ये कहाँ तक निकालेंगे तो जहाँ जहाँ बाल होंगे वहाँ पर ये होता है स्कैनिंग तो बहुत बड़ी एरिया है ना तो आप कहाँ तक निकालेंगे वो वहाँ पे बैठा हुआ है जब आपने ट्रीट कर दिया तो मालूम चला गया एरिया नकेड एरिया रह गया था वहाँ पे अप्लाई नहीं कर पाए तो वहाँ से वो निकल के दूसरे एरिया में फिर फैल गया तो इसके भी इसको एड्रेस करने के लिए देखिए ये जो है ना ये लाइट सामने नजर आ रहा है आपको उसको निकाला गया है दिखाने के लिए ये एरिया देखें इनके अंदर जो है ना छोटे 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 दूर से करीब जाएंगे तो आपको बरोज नजर आएंगे बरोज जो है ना इसके अंदर नजर आएंगे ऐसा लगेगा खंदक खोदने की कोशिश की है किसी ने गोल होता है इसके अंदर यहाँ पे अंडे एक्स लाई करती है रात को देती है एक और इन्फेक्शन है दैट इज कॉमन इट ट्रैकोमोन इट इज़ वन ऑफ द पैरासाइट प्रोटोजोन और ये ट्रैकोमोन जर्नलिस भी जो है ना मिक्सड इन्फेक्शन का बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सिम्टम्स जो है ना इसमें जो जनरल डिस्चार्ज एचिंग ही रहता है मगर ट्रैकोमोनसिस जो है ना जर्नलिस कैन इन्फेक्ट द मेल इज वेल then it can cause the urinary tract infection as well because it is a protozoa it is definitely a very it is a flagellate so isko jo hai trichomonas vaginalis ka specifically under microscope mein vaginal discharge dekhna hoga aur jo patient aate hain licoria licoria chikhte hue to unko puri history leni chahiye aur dekha jaye ki ye licoria kaun si type ka banta hai aur kya hai ye aur usko phir aapko detect karke manage karna chahiye यानी क्या क्योर विद द ड्रग्स अब क्योर जब करेंगे जब इसको आप डॉक्यूमेंट करेंगे यस अदरवाइज ये नहीं होगा कि हमारे यहाँ कोई हाथ नहीं लगाने देता है उस एरिया को तो हम क्या करते हैं मिक्स बजाजल इन्फेक्शन का आधार दे देते हैं कि इसमें शायद कैंडेडा भी होगा अभी आगे आएगा कैंडेडा भी है इसमें टैकोमस भी है इसके अंदर जो है ना कॉमन जो है शिनाडिया भी है तो आपको जो भी देना होता है वो लोकल एप्लीकेशन आप दे सकते हैं लोकल एप्लीकेशन कोई मसला नहीं तो उसमें जो होता है हम क्या करते हैं वो लोकल एप्लीकेशन भी अप्लाइड प्रॉपरली प्रॉपरली हाइजीन को दुरुस्त कर करके निकाल देते हैं इसको इस तरह से वो क्योर होता है ऐसे नहीं होता ये बड़ा नजर आ रहा है इसमें टेक इन यूजिंग लाइट माइक्रोस्कोप टेकोमोनासिस लाइट माइक्रोस्कोप में नजर आएगा क्योंकि ये फ्लैजिलेट है फंगस एक ही है जो इम्पोर्टेंट है वैसे और भी लेकिन ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है अल्पिकांस मोनिरेसिस कंडाडा एल्विकंस जो है ना खास तौर पर ये इम्यूनो सप्रेस्ड केसेज में डायबिटीज़ में बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट इन्फेक्शन है याद रखिएगा जो लोग कीमोथेरेपी पे हैं जिनको एड्स है एड्स का भी ये एक एड्स डिफाइनिंग डायग्नोसिस है एड्स डिफाइनिंग डायग्नोसिस लिव्स ऑन द स्किन एंड साइड द बॉडी दिस कैंडाडा एंड इट सच एज इन द माउथ ए थ्रोट ए गडी कहीं पर भी हो सकता है लेकिन असल मसला जो आ रहा होता है वो तो ठीक है वो आप पकड़ लेते हैं कि आपको वाइटिस जो है ना मिलते हैं लीजेंस माउथ के अंदर उसको आप डिटैच करके देख लेते हैं कि भाई एक्चुअल है 
ये जब निकालते हैं इसको तो कोशिश करेंगे आप उसको चढ़ाने की तो वो एरिया को, को तोड़ देगा ये ब्लीड कर जाएगा वो इसी तरीके से यहाँ पे भी इस तरह से ये होता है कि वो नज़र आ रहा होता है नहीं वाइट 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 उसको निकालने के पकड़ के निकालने की कोशिश करेंगे तो जो म्यूकस में उनके फिटर में से वो डैमेज हो जाएगी और ब्लीड करेगी जबकि दूसरे जो डिस्चार्जेस उनकी जो वाइटनेस होती है वो ऐसे आप हाथ मारेंगे उड़ जाएगी उसको तो ये जो है ना एस प्रिवेंशन के लिए जो है एक स्लोगन है जो दिखाया गया है कि प्रैक्टिस एक्सटीनेंस मोनोपोमी करें दो तीन पार्टनर मत प्रोड्यूस करें जो मना है इस्लाम में इस्लाम को फॉलो करें ना कुरान को फॉलो करें फॉलो कुरान इन शाह तू विल सी प्रैक्टिकल एक्सीडेंस है है फ्यूअर पार्टनर्स हों जैसे इस लाइन में इसमें दिखाया है और उसमें ना टॉक विद योर पार्टनर आपस में बातचीत करें टॉक यूज कॉन्टॉम्स मेल कम अज़ कम जो है ना अपने आप को महफूज करे फीमेल जो है ना वो हाइजीनिक हो और वो मैनेज करे अपनी हाइजीन को प्रॉपरली और उसके बाद इस तरह से जो है ना वो जो कीमो फ्लैक्स दे देते हैं या शुभ होता है कि ये एच आई वी की वजह से कैंडिडेट हो सकता है कि एड डिफाइनिंग डायग्नोसिस है तो ये पेप नाम से आती है या अमेरिका में इस्तेमाल किया जाता है ये उसको मेडिकेशन दे दी जाती है एंटीबायोटिक्स हैं ये जो एंटीवायरल ड्रग्स हैं बड़ी इफेक्टिव होती हैं वो उससे बचा सकते हैं जो अभी आपने डिस्क्राइब नहीं किया फिर आप जाएंगे जब जाएंगे तो सेकेंडरी केयर में जाएंगे तो फिर टेस्ट कराएंगे ना रूरल रूरल वाले क्या करेंगे तो वहाँ ये टेस्ट नहीं होता ये कराची में होता है बड़े शहरों में होता है सिरोलॉजी वगैरह जो भी आपको करानी है वो आपको देखिएगा मैं लेक्चर डिलीवर करूँगा दैन यू कैन एंडरस्टैंड इन शाह तो दिस इज द एक्चुअली एस टी आई सेक्यूलर ट्रांसमिट इन्फेक्शन एंड आई होप के दैट ये आपको बेनिफिल बेनिफिट देगा बेनिफिशियल है और तो सब्जेक्ट ड्राई है बट इट वेरी क्लिनिशियन एज कंसर्न इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन इसके ऊपर जो है ना वो बातचीत जो है ना वो जारी रहेगी याद रखिएगा खाली जो है ना वो जो है ना कुछ जो है ना ड्रग्स जो है ना जो इसमें नहीं डिस्क्राइब की गई हैं तो वहाँ पर डिस्क्राइब की गई हैं या डिजीज डिस्क्राइब की गई है आप कहेंगे भाई गुनरिया के लिए आपने नहीं मिसा तो आप गुनरिया का गुनरिया का वीडियो देखें ना चिलमारिया का नहीं होता चिलमारिया का वीडियो देखें आप हर एक को बनाया गया है किसी को नहीं छोड़ा अभी इसमें सिर्फ एक चीज़ रह गई है और वो एड्स है बाकी चीज़ों में तो जाहिर है कि वो आपको मालूम है कि एनी एंटी पैरासिटिक ड्रग है मेटर है टनाडाजोल वगैरह है ओरल भी दे सकते हैं उसमें प्रॉसिबली दे सकते हैं इसी तरह से ओरल थेरेपी भी होती है वेजनल वेजनल जो इन्फेक्शन है क्योंकि डायग्नोज नहीं करवाते ना लोग अपने आप को तो फिर आप मिक्स इन्फेक्शन करके उसे ट्रीट कर देते हैं फिर क्या करें वमा अल्लाम वरम वरक